Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I had a problem with with I had a problem with um with Zoom. I cannot find the the meeting, but thank God I always get in before time. <laughs> and I can fix it before the, the hour. How was your day? Yep. Fine? Nice teacher. Good. I was I was watching uh, the video uh, that uh, our president is fixing the changing the education. Ah? Changing the no, hombre, si está caliente el agua. agua. I like it. Está. Solo es para que hagas el I'm, I'm very crema, proud eh? of what is happening in El Salvador. And it's a pity that I am not there. But I, I will try to get back to El Salvador. I want to work for my people. I am trying to get into the into the but with the cell phone into the class because Yesterday, yesterday when, when I put this in the computer, you listen, but then I cannot listen to you anymore. And I like to listen to you when you are repeating. Okay. Well, let's start with the class. And can you open the, the PPTs when I send you by WhatsApp? Pueden abrir los PPT cuando se los mando por WhatsApp. Teacher, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Y por qué no ha entrado? Este no, no me sale el link. No sé es, si... que, es que les mandaron un link sí. al, al correo. Por sí, medio sí. de ese link tiene que entrar. Vaya. Usted le da clic ahí al link y lo, redire lo redirecciona. Inténtelo. Vaya. Porque yo no lo puedo meter porque yo no creé el grupo. Yo no soy, es más, si usted se fija, yo no soy administradora. Entonces todos ingresamos por medio del link. Ok, lo voy a intentar, lo que podría hacer es ponerle el link aquí en el chat de, de en el chat aquí de, 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 de la clase. Por favor, porque ah. si no, de seguro no borré el, el correo porque no lo tengo. <risa> Porque para entrar a las clases y todo eso tuviste que, te, que tener el, el correo. Sí, el mismo guardé, correo es, se mandan todos. Permitir. Guardé el, el, la, el, los accesos a las a la clases y en, en un correo. No guardaste un... el, el. No guardaste no... el. Sí, pero yo sí lo tengo toditito aquí. Es más. Ah, no, pero no sé. En el grupo de WhatsApp se lo acabo de agregar, Ricardo. El link. No, pero como él no tiene WhatsApp. Ah, pues yo, yo, yo te lo mando, Ricardo, a terminar la clase. Ahorita ah, aquí al chat ahorita. te lo voy a poner. Ah, ok. Ah, gracias. Ah, yo creo que ya se lo pusieron ahí. Ah, don Oscar, gracias. Si no, de todos modos, ya se lo puse yo aquí también. 
Sí, es el mismo. Ok. Entonces, como usted no va a tener los primeros dos que mandé, los voy a volver a compartir hoy, oye. No, no se vayan a afligir que le voy a mandar tanta cosa, pero es para que él tenga todo, para que todos tenga todo. Correcto. Además, creo que hay gente que se, que se inscribió después de la primera lección y no la tiene. Y aquí vamos parejos. Yo no tengo favoritismo. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Okay. It really works. It really works. Siempre, uh, always using adverbs before. before. Okay. In this case, it really works. Works is the adjective. O sea, de verdad funciona. O sea, no es, no es. Works, en este caso, no es verbo que significa trabajar en tercera persona, sino que esta, en este caso es adjetivo, okay. works, y significa funciona. It really works, de verdad funciona. Okay. It's, remember that sometimes in English, eh, the words have different meanings. Okay. And in this case, works is not a verb in third person. It is an adjective that is telling you that something is working or is uh, function, okay? And we have, if you notice, I love Albert Einstein, okay? <laughs> I love Albert Einstein because I know it, it, many things from him. I just feel like I understand him. You know, somebody asked him why he is always wearing the same clothing. And he say, I'm not wearing the same clothing. I always change my clothing. But it's the same color of shirt, the same color of pants, the same color, everything. And he say, well, I like this matching. And since I don't like to be thinking on something uh, not that important, then I just pick the things and wear them. And I know that I like the way it, it, it looks. O sea, me gusta cómo se ve la combinación y como no voy a estar quemando mi cabeza en andar pensando qué me voy a poner, entonces solo agarro y me lo pongo y yo sé que me gustó. <laughs> He was that kind of person and I am that kind of person. I don't care how I look because for me the look is not important. I prefer to have nice feelings and I prefer to have a nice, uh, um, to have good thoughts, okay? Then he say, anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Cualquiera que nunca ha cometido un error, nunca ha tratado algo nuevo, okay? So Albert Einstein. So if you make mistakes because you are trying something new and you can learn from the mistakes, but you have to correct them, okay? That's why I like you to pronounce because the, the, the more you talk in English, the more you will yeah. learn. That's why I ask you to participate. Now, repeat after me. It really works. It really works. It really, it really works. works. Well, we are going to be talking about sicknesses and how you can treat them, okay? Now, 
Lesson objective. In this session, you will learn vocabulary for common health problems, as well as listen to conversation where these new words will be practiced. Okay, now repeat after me. Uh, verbs can and should. Verbs can and should. And should. should will be introduced in a conversation. Will be introduced in a conversation. Here we have a vocabulary. Now repeat after me. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. An ear ache. 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 A broken leg. A broken leg. A sore throat. A sore throat. A headache. A headache. A cold. A cold. A fever. A fever. A cough. A cough. A toothache. 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 A eh, dolor de espalda, dolor de oído, okay. este dolor de cabeza, okay. dolor de dientes, dolor de okay. estómago. Entonces, cuando termina ache, o sea, ache, ache. backache, ear ache, stomachache, headache, toothache, eso significa dolor, ¿verdad? Okay. Y lo que va antes le está diciendo de, de qué tipo de dolor okay. se está tratando, ¿ok? Now, the flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Okay. Uh, the messless. Ese casi no se ve. The messless. The messless. The messless is sarampión. The messless. Este, cold is un resfriado. Y the flu is eh, la influencia. La influencia y los resfriados se parecen, pero la influencia, bueno, usted hasta se puede morir de influenza, por eso es que este, a la gente de mayor edad y, y a los niños pequeños les, les ponen la vacuna de la influenza, porque usted no, se puede no, hasta no, morir de la influenza. O sea que eso sí es... es... Teacher. Teacher. Como que fuera... El... This... The spell the sarampión, please. Mesles is a M E S S L E S. Mesles. M E S S L E S. Mesles. No, no me acuerdo. Thank you, si teacher. Es, no me acuerdo si es eh, no. así como le dije o si es mea, measles. O sea, M-E-A. Ya se me lo voy a buscar. Yo me creo que sí es measles. Measles, que confirmo. ¿Verdad que sí es? Ok. Yes. Entonces es measles. M-E-A. Thank you. M-E-A. S-L-E-S. Ok. Measles. Now, here we have, repeat after me, a headache, a backache, a backache, a stomachache, a stomachache. Si se fijan aquí hay ache y a sore. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ache es dolor y sore es así como cuando usted ha hecho demasiado ejercicio y se siente así como que un dolorcito en, en los músculos, pero que no es dolor, dolor, sino que como, como una molestia. 
Uh -huh. o sea, todo es así como, como dolor como... muscular, teacher. Sí, es un dolor muscular, pero no, no, es, no llega a ache, sino que es solamente así como un dolor bobo, ¿verdad? O sea, es así. Sor es como cuando, como, como cuando usted también le arde la garganta. Entonces, a, a sore throat. Entonces, es un ardor, o sea, como cuando usted se excedió mucho haciendo ejercicio o algo. Entonces, le, le, tiene molestia en los músculos, pero no llega a tan fuerte como un dolor. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija también aquí, en, en, por ejemplo, el que dice ache, Está hasta en rojo, aquí anaranjado casi como con fuego. Ese es ache. Pero aquí en los sor es así solo como un escosor. ¿Verdad? Entonces es, es uh, uh, less, less hard than an ache. O sea, when, when you have a sore, sore muscle, it's less than an ache. Okay? Sí, es, es como doliente y no es dolor, ¿verdad? Sí, es un, es un dolor bobo que le llaman, ¿verdad? Un dolor bobo. Okay. But not an ache. But you can have headache, because this is very strong, a stomachache, strong, backache, strong. Now, you have too much the vocabulary with the pictures, okay? Which is this one. The first This one, one is a the stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Uh, the, the one that is uh, beside? Uh, a back ache. Yeah. A back ache. A back, a back, ache. Ache. A back ache. 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 What about the guy here touching his head? A headache. A headache. A headache. And what about the, the last one? Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cold. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Insomnia. 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 Okay, the first three are similar. A cold, A cold. is when you have like uh, un resfrío or gripe. Okay, but a cough when you uh, yes. when, when you are coughing, okay, those, okay, uh, the flu is uh, when you have uh, all the symptoms of a cold, but they are very, very, very strong, okay. Uh, from a cold, you can you can get recovered in two three days. But from the flu, you had to have a, a long time resting, okay? Well, an insomnia is when you cannot sleep, okay? When you cannot sleep. Any of you have suffered from insomnia? In some case. oyendo televisión, pónganse en mute, por favor. Thank you. Este, any of you have suffered from insomnia? That cannot... Me, teacher. You? That was the teacher. Okay. Have you noticed why you suffer from insomnia? ¿Te has dado cuenta por qué sufre de insomnia? Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the problem is that we have bad... It, it, yes, it, teacher. Bad, bad. Um, uh, habits. Okay. For example, we tend to leave the things that make us think too much for the last time of the day. And for the last time of the day, you have to relax. Okay. So it's better if you stop watching TV and if you stop uh, watching uh, the computer and the cell phone at least one hour before you have to go to sleep. You may uh, 
close your eyes and listen to relaxing music, okay? Or uh, read something that is not too interesting for you, okay? Because if you are reading something that is interesting for you, you won't sleep, <laughs> okay? Then uh, also don't eat too late, okay? It's better that you skip dinner rather than eat too late. Es mejor que usted no cene que cenar demasiado tarde. Because when you eat too late, your, your stomach is processing the food and that uh, doesn't let you sleep well, okay? So, and don't, don't drink uh, too, uh, too much coffee. Coca-Cola. Don't drink Coca-Cola. Coffee. Okay, and all those things. And you can, you can drink, uh, the, there is a tea that is Filo uh, and Valeriana. Those, those things are good. Also manzanilla, chamomila is good. The tea, sí, sure. Those three yes, things, teacher. you can drink the tea. Yes? For me, the manzanilla, I, I don't say efecto contrario. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe then you have to, to, if you are that kind of person that you have the, the opposite effect, then you have to, to uh, have, a, what's the name of this pill? Is uh, dolofin. Uh, dolofin. Try, for me, try, is try to get a dolofin. Is, try to get a dolofin about five, and see what no, happens with you. Sir. Because uh, most of me, the most of the people, uh, when they get a dolofin, they get a. Uh, um, like like when, when they have the same effect like coffee but with the people that uh, are the opposite effect then they get to sleep with dolofin <laughs> right <laughs> okay now which of these do you think is uh, a cold Which of these pictures do you think is a cold? The first teacher. Well, it could be, but it says here from the flu. <laughs> that's why I told you that it, it, the flu and the cold could be the same, but that's why I choose something that says flu in order for you not to get lost. So this is the flu. It, it has okay. all the symptoms that you can have. Well, the cough, the, the cold is this one. Oh. Okay. Cold. So number four. Yes, this one, number four. Now, a cough is the man here coughing, okay? Number two. And what about the flu? The flu is number one, okay? And insomnia is this, this girl here that cannot sleep. Okay. Now repeat after me. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. A cough. The flu. The, the flu. flu. Insomnia. 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 Okay. Now in this session, you will listen to a conversation where common health problems <laughs> are mentioned using infinitive complements. Okay, now first just listen and follow the reading. Listen and follow the reading. Conversation, health problem. Hi Craig, how are you? Not so good, I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. 
You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Jack, that sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> Poor garlic, nobody likes it. Okay, now, listen and repeat. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? How are, How are you? you? Not so good. No, not so good. I have a terrible cold. I, I have, have a, a terrible, terrible cold. cold. Really? 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 That's too bad. That's, That's too bad. bad. You should That's be at home in bed. You, you should, should be, be at home in bed. bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. It is really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. right. All right. And have you taken anything for it? Have you, have you taken anything for it? For it? No, I haven't. No, no I, I haven't. I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Well, well sometimes, sometimes it's helpful to eat garlic, garlic, soup. garlic soup. soup. Just chop, chop up. Just chop, 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 chop up. A whole chop. head of garlic. A whole oh, head oh, of garlic. Oh, garlic. garlic. And cook it in a chicken yeah. soup. It really works. It really works. Jack. It really works. That sounds awful. That sounds awful. awful. You know, uh, garlic and also onion are one uh, the one of the best things that you can take for um virus for any type of viruses uh, the people that had a uh, garlic and also onions uh, hanging in their houses when they had the uh, the the black the black fever, the la, la fiebre negra, in 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 Europe, when they had those, that terrible terrible sickness, uh, the people that had onion and garlic in in their houses. Uh, they didn't get the sicknesses because the the onion and the garlic get the virus the virus and did not let it spread in the house. Those are um, historic events. Okay. Now and uh, another thing. Most of the people don't trust on um, natural things in order to get better from their health. health. But let me tell you that before Rockefeller, uh, everybody, even in Canada, Europe, United States, or whatever, everybody uh, take care of themselves in, uh, from the hospitals and all that, uh, all the doctors treat the people with 
natural thing. Okay, but when Rockefeller find out that uh, the, the, the government uh, do not want them to have a monopoly on, on the gasoline and the petroleum, then he decided to make uh, medicines out from the petroleum, from, from, from oil. And that way he can monopolize, okay, the, the medicine. And he started to buy a, um, well, he, he make a drug thing in order to, 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 to have uh, a drugs, a, a, a drug uh, labs, in order to make medicines, the the the, the chemicals, and he also funded the the association that takes control of the medicine that approve the medicine that goes to, to the public to the public so when you are only using chemicals to to fix your your health you are just making the rich richer okay and in my case i am almost 50, 56 Next week I will be 56, and I don't suffer from. I, I am ch I am chubby, and I don't suffer from uh, the heart. I don't suffer from diabetes. I don't suffer from anything. I don't take any medicines. Okay, and I'm chubby, and but I have a healthy lifestyle because I, I only eat a, a natural food, okay? I, I, I am a, also a, having my, 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 my own a, portage here at home. I have spinach, I have carrots, I also planted, I, I will plant a, a sweet potatoes. I already have the plants. And I have papos, papayas. I also have um, plantain, the big, ban big bananas. Okay. And I prefer to have those things that I know that are 100% without chemicals, then go to buy uh, things that are growing with chemicals. So the less chemicals you have in your body, the better, okay? And I grow my, my vegetables and my, my fruit things my, uh, with uh, composting. So I am using the the same things that I discard from from the kitchen, I use them to to plant. Okay, then I don't I don't buy fertilizers, and that's what I want to impulse in El Salvador. I want us in El Salvador to avoid uh, buying chemicals in order to have good crops we can have even better results in using the same the same garbage that we have from our kitchen okay if you notice the most garbage that you have is from the kitchen and you can use it to make compost and all uh, the people in el salvador can do the same that i am doing here and you can help to the, to the nature because with compost, you are not uh, 
um, healing the soil, you are improving the soil and with, with natural things, okay? So I want to be a deputy in El Salvador and I want to introduce that. We won't be buying uh, chemicals. We are, are going to have less uh, problems with garbage. If you notice one of the worst problems we have is the garbage. But we may use that garbage to grow our own food without using chemicals. Now, repeat after me. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Not so good. No. Not, Not so, so good. good. So I have so a good. terrible cold. I, I have, have a terrible cold. cold. Really? 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 That's too bad. That's, That's too bad. bad. You should be at home in bed. You, you should be at home in bed. In bed. In bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. It's really, it's really important, important to have a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. right. And have you taken anything for it? And, you, and have you taken anything for it? For it? For it? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Well, yeah, it's it sometimes helpful to eat garlic, garlic soup. soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic. Just chop up a whole, whole head of garlic. garlic. And cook it in a chicken stock. And, and cook, cook it in a chicken stock. Chicken stock. Try it. It really works. It really works. Yeah. 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 That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Okay, now, uh, volunteers. Me, teacher Katia. Okay, uh, William y Katia. Okay. Katia first. Okay, teacher. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Uh, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, if something helpful to eat garlic soup, just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. Okay, thank you. Now, uh... Uh, somebody else raises his hand with William. Uh, okay. Now, Eduardo, uh, who else? And Jessica. Me. Okay, Eduardo and Jessica. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. You. That sound. Oh, come say say awful. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Now Daisy and 
Don Oscar, could you help us? Okay. 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 Uh, you start, Daisy. Yes. Um, hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible, a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you you right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I have. Well, it sometimes help helpful to eat garlic soap. You show. Chop up a wool head of garlic and cook in a in, in a chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Yeah, that's a, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now, are there two volunteers? Yes. Yo veo que hay como más 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 palabras. Eh, que dice eh, en este caso la, la, lo femenino que lo masculino ¿le podría sí. dar vuelta solo para la pronunciación? Eh, lo, lo, si, si usted quiere lo podemos repetir y, lo, y le hacemos el cambio sí yo ¿Quiere? diría que eso sería una Ay, entonces este eh, Daisy, sí, ahora, 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 usted, ahora, ahora usted va a ser sí, usted va a ser Craig y él va a ser John ok ok Hi, how how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You shall be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of stress. Yeah, you're right. Uh, have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap. Just chop up, just chop up a whole heap of garlic and cook it uh, in a chicken stock tray, tray. It's really gross. Yeah, that's so awful. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Dina, Elizabeth, and who else? Who wants to work with Dina? Teacher. Me, Mauricio? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Dina, go first. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not too good. I have a terrible call. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you take anything for it? Taken. Have you taken? Taken. Okay. Anything for it. Thank you. No, I haven't. Will it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup? Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Sure, that sounds awful. Okay, thank you. Now, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, who is me? Joan. Okay, Joan, and who else? Hi. Hi. Vidal, could you help us? Okay. Yes? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? 
Mr. Vidal, unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Not so good. I have terribly cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you are right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it sometimes help, helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole heat of uh, garlic and cook in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Awful, awful. That sounds awful. Repeat, Mr. Vidal. That sounds awful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, other two volunteers. Sí. Okay, you and Miguel Angel. Go ahead, Elba. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you are right. I'm hardly taking anything for it. No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head on garlic and cook it in a kitchen stove. Try it. It's really warm. Yes, that's some awesome. Okay, it, it, uh, Miss Elba, it's not yeah. chicken, it's chicken. 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 O sea, pollo. Usted dijo eh, cocina. <laughs> okay. okay, it's chicken. Most of the people confuse both, both words. I don't know why. Most of the people confuse kitchen with chicken. And you cook chicken in a kitchen. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, uh, other two volunteers? Ricardo and who else? Me, Wendy. Okay, go ahead. You first, Wendy, and then Ricardo. Hi, okay. Fred. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cool. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. I have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole heap of garlic or cook it in a chicken stove. Try it. It really works. Sure. <clears throat> That's some um, awful. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. No sean tímidos. Ingrid, do you want? Okay, Ingrid and... Yes, sir. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, go ahead. Hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home and bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. 
Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful, helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, anyone? Disculpen, pero yo soy bien teatrera para estas cosas. It, I, I used to play, uh, I used to, to be in plays when I was at school. And when I was at university, I was in, have you ever heard about Todo Queda en Familia? A show that was made in El Salvador. Un show que estaba hecho en El Salvador, que lo, que lo hacía el Canal 12, que se llamaba Todo Queda en Familia. Si ustedes lo buscan en, el, en, en, en YouTube, todavía han puesto algunos, algunos episodios ahí de Todo Queda en Familia, que salía eh, Pánfilo a puras cachas, Doña Teréfola, este, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Chilango. Y, y, y Aniceto por Sisoca. Entonces, este, yo, yo estuve en un, en un episodio con ellos. Eso fue original, porque lo más chistoso del caso es que cuando había que repetir escenas, era por la gente que siempre estaba ahí y no por mí. Yo era como artista invitada, ¿verdad? Y entonces, por mí nunca repitieron ni una escena. Y por los que estaban ahí de toda la vida, había que repetir porque ellos se tiraban las carcajadas. Que fui más profesional yo. <risa> es más, este, estaba viendo ahí, el, el, cuando estábamos filmando, estaba viendo el, 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 que, el que sale de, de que, que, sabe, que, que es una mujer embarazada y que también sale una señora toda fina. ¿Cómo se llama? Atenchi, Ricardo Yudis. Ese, ese. Él estaba ahí viendo, viendo cuando está. Y me, y me invitó que si quería participar también con él en... en, en En, en uno de sus programas. Yo creo que no le pareció que yo demasiado profesional le salí porque le dije, mándeme el guión y yo le digo si salgo o no. <risa> Ay, haber dicho, esta ni siquiera es artista y está pidiendo que le mande el guión, a ver si pasa. Y no iba a salir con, con cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? O sea, depende del papel que me iba a poner. Podía ser una de las, una de las, de las, de las, de las amigas de la señora de esa fina, ¿verdad? Pero no iba a ser una, una más arrastrada que la Tenchis. Ni a Tula. Ay, Dios cuarto. Bien. Entonces, este, cuando uno tiene eso en la sangre, por gusto. Bien, entonces ahora vamos a continuar. In this session, infinity complements will be talk. Infinity complements are used to ask and give ad advice. For example, what should I do for a cold? Okay, it's a good idea to take some vitamins. Okay, this is infinitive complement. Okay, to take. To take. It's a good idea to take some vitamins. That's infinitive complement. Now, repeat after me. What should you do for a call? What should you do for a call? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's, it's sometimes, sometimes helpful to eat, eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Okay, if you notice, uh, we have here to get 
two is to take. Those are infinitive complements. That means that the verb is in infinity. Okay, when you put two before the verb, the verb is in infinity. It's like uh, you like in Spanish when we have the verbs ending R, R, E. Okay. For example, here to get is um, tomar, tomar o tener eh, o mucho, tener. mucho, mucho, mucho este, descanso. descanso. To eat, comer. comer. To take, tomar. Comer. Voy a tomar, pero de, 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 de tragar. tragar. Ajá. <laughs> ok. Now. Infinitive is verb eh, two plus the verb. Okay, that's the infinitive for them. For for our for the Spanish people, the, uh, we make our infinitives by leaving the verb ending in r r e. Okay, but in English, they made the infinitive by placing two before the verb. Okay. Now, uh, repeat after me. It's helpful to go to the doctor. It's, it's helpful, helpful to go to the doctor. It's important to drink lots of water. It's, it's important to drink lots of water. water. Mire, yo no sé por qué la computadora cuando yo estoy escribiendo me cambia las cosas. Water no va con tilde. En inglés no se ocupan las tildes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. It is a good idea to take cough drops. It is, it a, is good a good idea, idea to take cough drops. drops. Yo prefiero las cosas naturales. It's better. Uh, it, well, and in, in my case, when when my children get sick, even from even from COVID, I prefer to make them uh, a tea. That tea has uh, yeah, yeah, a yeah, cinnamon yeah. steak, cinnamon steak, o sea, un, 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 un palito de, de, de canela. Canela. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eight eh, pepper, eh, o sea, peppermint, o sea, las, las, las que llamamos este, pimienta, pimienta gruesa. Negra. Pimienta gorda. La pimienta gorda. And also cloves, o sea, clavos. Eight cloves, eight uh, peppermint. Uh, four bags. And ginger too, teacher. Yes, ginger. Four bags of uh, um, chamomilla. Four bags of chamomilla tea. And ginger. And also mint, o sea, hojas de menta. Mint. ¿Dónde lo compro, teacher? And no, you have to buy all the, all the things and, and put them <laughs> to boil. <laughs> Then you, you get a little of, of, of water. Okay, you put the, the water to boil and then you drop all those things and uh, cover the things and... Oh. and and turn the stuff off and you let uh, the all the things to um to make the tea okay then you drink it with some lemon juice and honey okay it's excellent even for covid my i treat my children with that and they recover from it. Haga bastante no regala, teacher. <laughs> my, my children used to have um, problems with the, with, with the lungs. And we spend a lot of money on different medicines and they never get better. When I started making that tea for them, they get better. So it's much better. 
Y, y yo dije, si yo hubiera sabido que el tecito este los iba a curar más que todo lo que había gastado, porque gasté bastante. <risa> sí, sí, es que, o sea, les, es que ellos eran como, tenían una alergia. O, ya se marqué, pero me van a dar unos minutitos, please. Because we had to make the exercise. This is the last thing for the for today. Or do you want it to do it tomorrow? Me van a regalar los minutos extra o lo hacemos mañana? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Do it. Tomorrow. Okay, then we will do it tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You can continue with the, with the, with the yeah. exercise. Try to do the exercise by yourself and we will check it tomorrow. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. Okay. See, See you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye.